Hey friends, it's Sonia. And Matt. Welcome back to the daily vlog. And boy, do we have somewhere fun to take you to today. Look at all those goodies. But first, I gotta give a shout out and say a big, big thank you uh, to Cheryl, who bought that beautiful stoneware single single candle holder and jerry who went to my ebay store and scored those beautiful that beautiful set of cozy plates so thank you so much it has been shipped up shipped up it has been packed it has been shipped with lovely little written love notes to you ladies thank you so so much all right so let's get into here this is the fun the funk in junk funk in junk don't say it too fast Say it too fast, you might get yourself in YouTube jail. Uh oh, okay, yeah. all right. Just read what's on the screen, okay? Focus on, on the pretty bag here. It's all good, it's all good. We're a family show. That's right, we are. I love that little bag right there. I don't know if it was new or used, but hey, I don't know. It was just beautiful as it was. Did you see this big lamp shade? I love lamps! <laughs> underneath love the lamp. desk. When we moved into this old 1800s home that we currently are in, in the basement there is a giant lamp. There's a couple of them. Oh my goodness, we gotta figure out what to do with them. They're the old gas lamps. From, I oh, love them. Yeah. yeah, I love them. They had some really cool lamps on the walls in here. You might see in the video here as we move along too. They were beautiful and they are for sale. They said pretty much everything in the store was for sale. <laughs> And by the way, this Even it store, wasn't, if it wasn't marked for sale. Yeah, that's right. And the there are two ladies that partner up to make this store happen. Gretchen was the one that we met. She was the one that was uh, working here the day we came. She actually makes these, what would you call it, driftwood faces yes. characters. She told us a really neat story about how she um, goes to a local beach. And this is up by Lake Erie, by the way. This is in... A senior gentleman. What's it called? Gerard? Gerard. Gerard. PA. PA. Yeah, there's one in Ohio. Yeah. There's probably more all around the country. Yes. And as we were driving through, we hit this place, seriously, by chance, because we were so late in the day, and we did not know if it was open or closed, and we didn't even know it was there. We were just driving back from a Goodwill, and of course, the colorful window display that they had really caught my attention. Sawyer spotted it while I was busy looking at the flashing lights of the policeman in front of me. Okay, all right. And so, well, the you know this kind of drew me in right here, and I'm like, did you see that? So I didn't know if they were open or not because it was so late in the day. We circled around, Matt found a place to you know turn around, and we went back there, and she said, yep. And so we caught them. I think they were closing within the hour. So we had to look fast. But this place, I'm telling you, was You took the name. entire hour. I did. I I really could have stayed here forever because, I mean, look at this. Look at this, Matt. What a gorgeous Alice yellow teapot. Yes. yes, the only thing is it had plants, so I would what have to keep Alice alive. That's Wonderland. That's a diorite. Well, maybe they're magical flowers, and I wouldn't they're, have to water them. They're probably plastic, I'm guessing. Well, no, maybe I should have took it. Right? But oh yeah, about these faces. Do you do you remember what she said? Yeah, there was an older gentleman who's eighty who's not able to clear his beach anymore, but he still likes to go out his beach. So she made a deal. She makes art out of all the junk she finds on his beach and keeps his beach clean. And people that buy that helps pay to keep the beach clean. Pretty cool, right? Yes. And she said she'd been selling so many of them. So her and her friend have teamed up. And this is the other cool thing that we learned here. How many day, days old when we walked in this store was it? Nine days old. Can you believe it? Like, and we found it. We found it. Nine days old. She said she just had created a Facebook page and we just happened to walk in. So it had so many goodies. And uh, Gretchen that works there said that they were looking forward to picking and, you know, replenishing their store. That's not my picture on that sign. An old crab lives here? Shh. <laughs> Maybe we should have took that. Look, how did I miss that piece of pottery down there? You didn't, you were, you were too busy. I found so many things. Everything in this store, I just mm -hmm. felt like uh, it was an extension of me. Mm -hmm. The bird. Oh yeah, he slides open. We got a pair of those. We're going to put those on our eBay store. By the way, if this is your first time seeing this video, we have just started an eBay store. It's called Stanley Cat Curiosities. After our handsome Stan the Man cat. Yes. Um, I'll put a link in the description box as well down below. But if you go to our website at junkmonkeypaint.com, it also is interconnected right there. And you can click Shop My Finds. So this bird. And then... I gave you the bird. The matching bird. You flipped me the bird. Two of them, right? I found the other one. Yes, and we yeah. put them together. So yes. those will be going on our... Um, our store cool you know it was you know when you're shopping like this am i looking at the floor here you are looking at the floor i really like the floor what were you doing i loved everything about this store uh, 
Okay, here's the deal. You realize that everything that you wear, your house, is it's like wearing your insides on your outsides, right? So That's disturbing. I know, but when I was in the store, like this, I love this. I love this piece of pottery. It's colorful. It's perfectly perfect. I don't think I took this piece because no. you see it had a little chip right there. But everything else about that, if I was keeping it for myself, I would just, you know, dab a little paint on there and it would be good to go. Um, but if I'm reselling but it, I'm why didn't gonna... you? why didn't you buy it for yourself? I should have. Probably because I had too much stuff. Yes. And you were giving me the laser beam eyeballs. Yes. Like, Sonia? Yes. Why don't you just make an offer on the entire store? Right. It was hard. It was it was it was hard not to want to take everything home. It's just what would you call the store? They call themselves eclectic. Like they, yes, eclectic, repurposed, upcycled, uh, collected, collected look. Okay, mm. that's that's mm, your word. That's my word. I love that's that. Right. Yes, the collected look. I think that's my style. The collected look. I also have coined the phrase. At least I think I have. Anyhow, I said it one day. You know, it's it's shabby happy. Have you ever heard of shabby happy before? Come on, it's happy, it's colorful, a little warm looking, shabby, happy, collected. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with. <laughs> yes, yeah, makes guys... you shabby, happy, and I'm, I'm looking at my walls going, <laughs> we really need that. Yes, we do. We Didn't absolutely we? do. These are nice. I really like those. Yeah, those are very nice. They did a great do you job think that was a vanity that they cut apart? Because I've seen that, John. Mm, it looks, they're very skinny for end tables. So yeah, it might have been part, but I didn't look in the back, so... I don't know if it's connected. It might just be end tables, but yeah, it kind of strikes me as a vanity that was uh, separated. Yeah, we really like that. The blue with the white glaze with that mm -hmm. whitewash look out on the outside of it. A piece of pottery. Didn't recognize this pottery studio, but I, let me tell you, I thought that was pretty cool. There are a lot of pottery studios. It comes apart in two pieces. Oh, and it's I don't... kind of like a little nesting doll. Like, Oh, I see. Does it lock together? Uh, no, and then I, after oh, okay. I took it apart, I thought, well, maybe they're not supposed to sit like that, but maybe they are. It I don't says know. two pieces. Yeah. Does that mean you get two pieces for the price, or does that mean the two pieces go together to make one piece? Wow, now you got me. I don't know. Uh, like, what is that little slot for? I don't know. Hmm. Is it an egg separator? What? It might be an know. egg separator. I don't even know what that is. Oh, you know, like you put your egg in there and you pour it out and the, the whites come out, but the uh, yolk stays in. You know, usually, that is way too much work. Yeah, you're making like lemon meringue, lemon meringue pie. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. I think mom had plastic ones. Yeah. I do not own. Usually they have separators. they have joke ones. It looks like, you know, it's coming out of his nose. So it looks like he's got a runny nose with egg whites. Is this for real? Yes, it's for real. I'm now mortified. You should be. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that stand. Did you see that one? Yes. You know, I was looking at everything on it. And sometimes, like I say, I watch these videos back, and I realize I even missed more stuff. And you know what that does? What? Saves me money, buddy. <laughs> this store is divided into two sections. So you've got your big section up front, and then you walk back, and now we're on the back end of it. I got to clarify that statement. It's actually her money. I'm just the arm candy. It's a tough job, but, you know, I'm just a man for it. Somebody's got to do it, yeah. right? Love that bowl of bowl of ornaments. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yo, we got these. We took these. Listen, there's one for me and one for you. Yeah, but I don't drink anything that would come out of there. We're going to have to do some, like, spiced eggnog <laughs> or something. That'd be fun. Those are moose. I will be. I'm come on, going I'm from to Newfoundland. Be, yeah. I love some moose. That's funny you mentioned it. I'm going to be doing eggnog pie on my new food channel. Yes, Matt has started a new channel. It's called Bad Food. What was yes. the last thing you made? I made, the last thing I made, what was the last thing I made? I remember. Oh my gosh, Come on. I can't remember. It was How can so you horrific. not remember? That's what I'm saying. It's burned in my brain. Oh, meat cake. Yes, <laughs> I made meat cake. Yeah, so this isn't your co co typical cooking channel because, you know, everybody's out there and you're snotty and they go, I did make such good food and blah, 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 I'm going to show you. Well, I took all the recipes <laughs> that escaped from your grandma's attic or the state penitentiary or a combination of both and I make them. All those nasty old, you know, food magazine articles with jello and all kinds of stuff. That's my channel. And stuff that should yeah. never be remade. So, yeah. yeah. You know how people, like he was starting to say, make good food? Yeah. Matt makes bad food. So, yes. you'll have to go check and out his channel. And it's not good. It's not good. I will link it below. I will link right. it below. It's a lot of fun. But just if you want to see the episodes, look up meat, bad food, meat cake. Absolutely. I Yeah. I, I can't wait for them to see your meat cake. It's special. <laughs>
Oh, I picked up these beads right here in front of me as well um, to put on my eBay store and let's see if they make it to the eBay store because I love me some wooden beads to decorate with. Yes, the wooden garland. Yeah, I have some red and white ones. Do you remember oh, those? Uh, yeah, I remember those. Now, those have followed me around forever. Well, you know what? I found those while I was thrifting. If you've ever seen me do videos in my dining room and they hang in the background, I did manage to part and sell a whole bunch. I think we got those, I can't remember. It was part of a thrift haul, and I did manage to part with a couple of the strands of them, but I had to keep one strand for myself, so those are mine. I'm here debating whether or not I should take these candle holders. I do have a fascination with candle holders. I don't believe you should. You can have too many candles. In fact, tonight it's stormy here. And that's you, you and that's you. You know what? Yeah. By the way, it's, it's pretty stormy here tonight, and a lot of places as we were traveling back to our house lost power. So who's the smart, smart one now that has tons of candles around their house? If we lose power, you know what I do? What? Take a nap. I know. Well, I'm lighting candles around the house. By the way, did you see the roller skates on the floor? Yes. I used to roller skate, did you? Oh, I used to roller skate too. Now it's all about like roller blades and stuff. But... Well, that's that's about 20 years ago. Yeah. You're a little behind time on that. With the roller blades? Yeah. Riley, it's got roller blades. Yeah, but the, you know, you play hockey with those and inline skating and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's not as cool as it once was. I have a set of these myself. We painted, uh, we flipped the frames on them black. Speaking of roller blades and stuff, when Trust I first... Me, it was a shock to me, too. When I first moved here from Canada to Pennsylvania, I really missed... By the way, I love those lemons, lemon mm -hmm. napkins. Um, I really missed skating, ice skating, okay. and I moved here... And I started to see posters for skating at the local community center. So I got excited. And then I realized that skating, by the way, <laughs> I took this bird as well. Skating down here, you guys call it rollerblading. Roller skating or yeah. skating rinks, yeah. There Not was no skating, skating rink. No, yeah. it was in a community center, right? And I used to take my son there. You know, we'd take Riley there. And he'd mm -hmm. hang out with his friends. But anyway, something new that I'd never seen before. We grew up on in Canada on skates. This bird, did we take this bird? Yes, I, don't, I think did we? we did. I don't I think, think we did. did. Really? Did we? I don't know. I wanted him. I'm hoping he's going to be in some of my my bags that I have to unpack. He might be. I've got to spend the day and I'll take you pictures of all the things and posting them. Yes. I love these right here. we got a big week coming up for you guys. Of all kinds of thrifting videos. Yes. Our, our brush with danger today. Oh yeah, right? Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy stuff that we saw today. You have to keep watching to find out what we're talking about. Yep. Boy, no, we're going to really make them, uh, that's a cliffhanger. They're going to they're gonna watch it and they're going, really? I love those pieces. I think they, when I took one off the wall, they were pretty heavy, but I'm pretty sure it was about, is it $8 a piece or something mm -hmm. like that? 8 to $10 a piece, which if I was just buying them for myself, that's great. But I was um, considering them putting them on my eBay store, but... Uh, it would have just been not at that price point. Love these chairs up here. And, you know, we we love to flip furniture. So, of course, we're going to be drawn to this. Look at those beautiful colors. Great idea if you have storefronts or a booth. Yeah, use a chair. Oh, my gosh. Didn't that look like a person? It, it I is, swear. Didn't that look like a person? A a person. I don't even remember seeing that I hope mannequin. It looks like a person. It's a mannequin. I didn't even see that mannequin there. Now, on this video, it was like, mm. who is this person? What is that? that that's a pate plate. Oh, I love these lambs. Or a dip plate for like a cheese ball. That'd be good. Tis the season for cheese balls. Yes. We gotta make some. <clears throat> You're a cheese ball. I love cheese ball crackers. I like this. We got this. We did. Yes. Tell me what you think this is. I have no idea. I gotta inspect it and research it. Anybody watching? It's some kind of a picture, but I have no idea what it is. What do you guys think this is? We just thought there might be a genie inside that grants yeah. wishes. <laughs> yeah, I'll let well. you know. Well, Did you look, know how that goes? Yeah, well, we can tell you right now. Here's a spoiler. We're still making this video, so it didn't work. <laughs> Seriously, if you do know what that is, let us know because we just thought it was fascinating. There's a dolphin right there. You can buy the dolphin? It's beautiful. Oh. I love it. I'm very attracted to glass, like colorful glass. I love it. Yes. This is pretty because it's yellow. Mm -hmm. That's really nice, too. Uh, is that a majolica? What is that? A majolica. That, that, yeah, that's a brand name. English. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or Fiesta Wear. Or Fiesta Wear. Love the... Um, Fiesta Wear, I believe. The glass knobs yeah. on that piece. I didn't look at that. I didn't even see that, or else I would have looked at that. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, sometimes you watch this video back, and you're like, how did I miss that? 
Uh, the well, sleigh. like I said, I'm glad we did because we have more money now. Yeah. That's right. I love the sleigh down there. Anybody decorate with the sleighs if you can find them out thrifting and then, you know, put some garland over them, put some, you know, tis the season also to just wrap some pretty twinkle lights around everything. This is me going back now and going, oh yeah, I need these. Give me the snake of beads. Oh, mm -hmm. we love them. Look at that. Three bucks. I mean, would you have taken that home? How could you have not have taken that home? That's going to look so good draped across my buffet or something. Or, because Matt's sitting in the room, my eBay store. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to Trust pick me, she when wasn't, you love everything you pick. She wasn't fooling eBay. anybody when she came out and go, oh, I got these for the store. Uh-huh. <laughs> Matt was up front by this point and all these little things, he was like bringing them up. And speaking of lamps, I do love this I lamp. Love lamp. You do love lamp. Oh my gosh. Too lamp. funny. So I love this here. It was just a spray painted, really nice lamp though it's got a reflective interior she just bought the uh, cover for it a couple days before she did she, she put it out. you brought that up front for me as well yeah. so matt was bringing things up front for well, me well i didn't bring it up because it was attached and she unplugged it she did that's right and she i was brought like that one up. yeah yeah we didn't want to break anything i could have wrecked the store very easily <laughs> we, we didn't want matt to be a wreck it ralph so uh we did go up front and she unplugged it for us but yeah he was bringing everything up there and he was just wondering when I was going to stop picking. Hey, we're almost done. That's a super cool piece. I love this piece, but it was really heavy. If I had to ship it, it would have been a whole lot in shipping. Shipping's not cheap. No. So I try to be mindful of that, of stuff that I'm putting in my Ship it. I'm cheap. Shipping is not. Remember <laughs> that. We'll see you next time. And on that note, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.